Incredible afternoon, everyone. Incredible afternoon. All right, another quick video. I just uh, completed designing um, a tumbler. It was a request for someone uh, for a Mother's Day tumbler, and I decided to put that template in my design vault or my template vault. Um, if you have access to that, it is exclusive to those who have access to the vault. Um, but I wanted to just come on to show how to change out the pictures and things in the vault and the fact that you can even change out the background. It had it comes with the marble background, but you can change that out to anything. It does not come with the Tumblr mock-up. I'm still working on that um, to make it more efficient as far as um, adjusting it and changing it and all that stuff, um, being able to use it. It's, it works Shakia's way, but not really to where anyone that just opens a program will really understand how to work it. So the mock-up is not a part of it. It's just the actual template that you can go in and customize the colors, the images, the um, yeah, the, co the colors, the images, and things like that. All right. So I'm going to break this down in how you can take images and then customize them for this. I cannot show you the one that I am making. And even when I'm, um, I'm going to make that tumbler, I will, um, I can't even say that I'll record it. I won't be able to record that one because it is for Mother's Day. It's a gift. So I don't want to spoil that. Don't know if they follow me and someone may see, or maybe somebody else. Oh, I know her girl. Look at this. Who gave you? So I'm not doing, showing that one until after Mother's Day. And then I'll probably post just post some pictures and stuff of that particular tumbler. But, um, oh, well, so with that, I decided to just, you know, pick images from online, some of my favorite moms, you know, Diana Ross, uh, Michelle Obama, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with my girl Tabitha and her family and how to change it out and all that kind of good jazz. So if this is something that you are interested in, and simply knowing how to modify uh, templates, depending on how they are set up, uh, stick around, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up hit that share button and share it out with someone. If you're watching this live over on Facebook or you're watching the playback of it over on Facebook, be sure to tag a friend or two or three or four in the video. All right. So now that we have gotten that out of the way, um, let's go and see. Uh oh, can I get it to come up? There we go. Hello, 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 everybody. Once again, um, now that you're no longer seeing my banner, I am Shakia, the professor of HS Inc. 365. Uh, we are the parent company of Silaholics Anonymous, which is my social platform to teach you guys how to use Silhouette Studio. The brand, honestly speaking, boom, 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 um, which is <laughs> we carry summation ink, summation paper, pigment ink, and so much more. And um, my Academy 365 Creative Academy, where I teach you to unlock your creativity in a wide variety of ways, whether it's through like, you know, uh, teach you about your creative business, Silhouette Studio, different uh, hands-on type projects and things like that. So check us out um, on our website, shop.hsinc365.com. It will take you to all of those different things. So there's always ways to get in contact with me. All right, if you don't follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, it's Shakia the Professor 365, Facebook, it's Alaholics Anonymous, and honestly speaking, YouTube, same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this again. Um, um, <laughs> just looking at someone say, girl, you are the bomb.com. Uh, I've been trying to find a YouTube video and bam, you helped me in a minute. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was I about to say? She made, she, I got to turn my phone over because that just threw me completely off right there. Um, oh, just a couple of things. So it is the, pol like it's a Polaroid image. You can move it around. That's why I did show um, both. I, there's two different ones as far as like moving it around. Now, the one thing that's not on there, but I will, is the different orientations of the 
definition of mother. So I will also add that one in just in case like you have to move your images around or if you want to add more Polaroid to like you want to copy and paste that and add more onto it, you can. Um, but I'm going to show you how to customize this if you have access to my template vault or if you decide to purchase it today. It will be exclusive to those in the template uh, who have access to the template vault. It will not be on my website um, until probably after Mother's Day. Okay, so let's head on over to Silhouette Studio. <laughs> she said, wipe your wet, your feet all the way. It, it hit the like button. I know that's right. Hey, just say hello, Miss Wood, Miss Clark, Miss Barbell. How are you? Um, she says, yes, I need to do uh, one today. Uh, where have you been all my life, girl? Right here. Uh, hello, hello. Yo. All right. So <laughs> she says, and is. <laughs> hello, Miss Brown. Hello, Craftily Me. And Lisa Thomas, I think I hit everyone. All right, who's um, who comments and who's watching live. So let's go. On, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to Silhouette Studio. Now, for the image, I use uh, Remove.bg. I pay for it, so I um, get high resolution image. They do have a free version. It's like a preview version. The images can be like not so, 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 so great, but I do pay for uh, remove.bg. I have Photoshop. Can I do this in Photoshop? Sure can, but I choose not to. <laughs> uh, to me, just remove.bg, pop it in there, makes it so much easier than me trying to go through and clicking on different buttons in Photoshop. So a lot of the times I will go here first. It's just a tool to make my life so much easier. Um, and... Oh, wait a minute. Go back to remove background. So you can do one of two things. You can drag and drop a file in here. You can go to upload an image and then go and find it. You can also find an image online and then bring it in and it will remove the background. So let's say, um, let me find another. I'm just going to take the image of Tabitha by herself. Oh my God. Look at Donna. Donna is so cute. All right. We're going to bring this over here, right? And if I click on her image and go copy image address, because everything on the internet has a URL, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go control V. And I don't know if max command V works, but that's to paste. And now that's in there. She's her and Donna are beautiful. And then, you know, uh, you just a, you're able to then download it. So uh, I'm not really need. Um, do I want to download this? Nah, I don't want to download this one. But you would download it. For me, it would be an HD one versus the regular one. Like I said, you can you can see the big difference: five seventy seven versus a thousand by seven fifty. So it does take down the quality just a little bit. All right. So we're going to minimize those. That's one of the ways you can take like a picture. If it was from the internet, you want to remove the background. But if it's a picture that you're working on for one of your clients, it's going to be saved on your computer. You can um, drag and drop it in there straight from your file folder or go to upload, find it, and then all of that. All right. So once we have that and it is downloaded, this is the PNG version. It's going to, of course, give you all of the extra pixels. You're going to go over to trace. And I pray that this does not shut down on me because it's a lot of stuff open. So we're going to put our box around it and we're going to take our threshold up to try and get all of it to mask in yellow. And I'm going to go trace and detach and pray that it doesn't shut down. Fingers crossed because I have a lot of stuff. I tell them other um, pages I have open and there's a lot of graphics. Yay, it worked. All right. So we're going to move them out of the way, select the transparent or invisible background and delete that. So I'm just going to go right off of one of these. So when you get the template, um, I'm going to, oh, crapola. Oh, I made a mistake because I did something to, um, I had like this little cover up piece and 
now I no longer have it because I already know that their picture is going to be too wide. So anywho. All right. So um, I'm going to click on their image and move it out of the way. This does have my white fade bar on it. So as you can see, their image is not a blur off image. It's a straight line. But the, um, the fade bar that's there helps with masking that and making it look as if it is just blending out. All right, so we're going to take their lovely family and I'm going to shrink it down some. Actually, I'm going to make it bigger because I'm going to actually cut them off. So let's go about there. I'm going to take a box, put it like right where mom is, like right below the top of it. Hold down shift, click on them and subtract. All right. And now I'm going to send it all to the back. So I want to click at the top. I want to drag and select everything. I'm not coming all the way down because then I'm going to select the word mom and my fade. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to bring this back up right to where I have the Polaroid, the family, the name, all that stuff. And then, oh, wait, did I group this together? Okay, no, I didn't. All right, so we're going to pull all this right here, right click and send it to the back. Now it looks like it's faded. All right, so that's that. I'm going to pull their image down just a little and maybe shrink it just a little because of the Polaroids. All right. And this Polaroid, I have to move it. The original one comes with it grouped together. And you'll have to ungroup it to be able to change the picture in it. So when you get the file and you download it, it's going to be like this. It's going to look, well, and without them. So it's going to look like this. All right. I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to drag the background here, um, should already be grouped together. If not, grab the little corner right here at the top, see right there, and then right click and group it. Don't group the fade to it. Then we're going to drag and select the Polaroid and the background, hold down shift and click on the background. So that's going to make it to where we have just the Polaroid. I'm going to pull that up some. I'm going to click on this one, which means I might need this one. So I'm going to just bring that over here. But see, as you can see, you can uh -oh, you can move this around. You can rotate it if you need to. Maybe there's a certain part of the picture that it looks you're able to see it more because it is behind them. If you have Design Edition, um, designer plus or business. This is a very, very easy process. We're going to click on the gray box. I'm going to come down over here to my properties dropper. So that is this icon right here. I'm going to click on that and then click on the image that I want to fill into that box. So I'm going to click right here. It's going to come in looking kind of cuckoo crazy. And then we're going to go over to, um, the patterns fold the patterns window. So we're going to go there and go to maintain aspect ratio. So now their picture is big, but it is split. We're going to go to pan and move that over. And do I see everybody? I'm going to zoom in because I don't know if I have everybody's face in here. So I'm going to go pan. I mean, it is about Mother's Day, so I really don't care about change. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not going to do him like that. So we're going to pull them over. I'm going to scale it up just a little so that way we can kind of pan this over some and see everybody. Talia, I mean, Chance, your face is a little bit blocked, but it's okay. All right. And then we're going to click on this one and I'm going to bring in this image. So you can either click on it to... Um, do the property dropper. If you have the free version of Silhouette Studio, you're going to have to shrink it down, rotate it to kind of fit this um, space, right? Um, you can always, you know, rotate it afterwards. We can take down the transparency if we want to see exactly where it's going to fit. 
And like I said, with this one, I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger because it is going to technically cut off certain parts of it. Um, but I'll bring in my black fade and I'll show you how I can kind of rectify that. All right, so we're going to bring this down. I'm just going to put it to about here. I'm going to fix it afterwards. I'm going to take my threshold back up. I mean, my transparency back up. And look, there's my stupid light again. We're going to right click and send that to the back. Hold down shift, click on this gray uh, square and go over to modify and crop. So now that's in there. So I don't want to, to cut them off. So I'm going to go back up here, go to my patterns, go to pan. And let's see, I might be able to, nope, I'm not going to get to Leah's face um, in there and see if you come out like this, then you get the, um, you get the pitch, the picture is basically repeating itself at that point. All right. So we're going to kind of give this, a what they call it? Vegetative, veg, vegetative, veg, vegetative, whatever, uh, kind of effect and put the black around it. So I'm going to move this over. I have my fade bars open here. I'm going to grab my black, come over to, which one is, it? okay, this one, and I'm going to paste it and rotate it, shrink it down, spread it out, go up just a little bit, give it like a little... So where it's a softer top. So I'm going to put that right there. Don't worry about it co covering up anything. I'm going to click on the original picture and duplicate that right in front. So right click, copy, right click, paste in front. Remove the color, hold down shift, click on the fade, modify and crop. Then I'm going to just duplicate that above. So I'm going to Go to replicate, mirror above, place this right here in the corner, move my center of rotation over to the top corner and rotate this down so that it lines up. Then I'm going to drag and select all the way down through this picture and the background, right click and send it to the back. That way it goes behind their heads. So as I said, don't worry about it covering it up. Now, the bottom one I'm okay with. The top, it cuts it off a little bit. So I'm going to go in and try to push that up just a little. So I'm going to go pan and I'm going to push that up like that and also maybe rotate it just a little. So it's, it's just giving it that look of like that vintage type um, um, look. And I can also do the bottom one if I wanted to move that down just a little, actually, I kind of have to leave that one because, but if you do it like that, I can see it, but not quite so much. It doesn't look like a sharp line. So there's that one. Now, if I wanted to change the background and the colors on this, so let's say I didn't want my mom to really match. Oh, well, first, sorry, back it up. Let's drag and select all of this. Hold down shift, click on the background. That leaves us with just the picture group that together. That way you can move it around, rotate it, resize it if you need to. Same thing with this side. We're going to come through this way, hold down shift, click on the background and group. All right. So let's bring in our definition of mother. I'm going to select that and send it to the back. Let's maybe shrink them down just a little. So Chance's head is not blocking it. Bring this down some. And this one can pretty much stay like that. So when I put this down on the tumbler, this side would be the one that's touching the tumbler. So that way with this overlap, this part really isn't going to show on the tumbler. 
it's going to pretty much be the edges of these two Polaroids almost touching. So I do want, I do want a little bit of the marble effect in there. So I'm just going to select it, select this Polaroid and make it smaller. I'll probably make this one a little bit smaller as well. I can probably pull this up some, but you can move it around however you see fit. All right. And this light is driving me nuts. Okay. So that's like that. Now let's say we wanted to have a different background. I'm going to move this off to the side. And my fades are available on the website as now that one you can purchase now if you want to get the fade bars, that one is available. All right. So let's say I want to change the background of this. There is a fade up here because when I ungroup, if I move this, it makes it to where, and this is a design uh, tech, like this is um, a design hack, design technique. Because the background is very, very busy, you want to have something so that you can still read it. So this is without it. And then we're going to scroll up here. This has basically like what is basically a, I'm going to see if I can make it solid. So it's my white fade but it would be very opaque at the top and kind of take away the marble effect. Now, if you want to have that full on fade and just kind of have the marble in the middle, you definitely can do that. Or you end up ungrouping it and fading that part down, like take not fading, taking the transparency down some so that the background doesn't appear to be as bold and you can still read the words. Or I could have made this like move this very strategically and moved it around to where mother in this case was like right here in that white section and then I wouldn't need this at all um but I just have to be mindful of where it's going to cut off at so I just have to be mindful of that and or maybe even just shrink it down some so that I can bring it down so if I didn't want that depending on what your image is you might have like a little pocket where you can put that in there all right but for the background you would um ungroup and then we can change this to whatever we want so I'm going to go over to my patterns folder and just whatever patterns I have here I'm going to use um, you can download patterns. You can look for ones. It can be glitter. It can be sparkly. It can be metal. It can be a rainforest. It can be whatever you want. All right. So if I go there, boom, um, more natural sky. Well, I don't want to do sky. <laughs> um, but then we have like a really colorful one. You can make this what, uh, oh, I kind of like, that's busy, but I kind of like it. So you can see how now that part right there is more legible because we have that fade. Now it does fade the colors in that section as well. Like it's not gonna be as bright, but at least you can see the words. Or you can even, you know, even not have it on there at all and just have it like that. And you can probably make your pictures bigger, move them around. So it's very, very versatile in how you can design with it. So. All right, kind of like that one, but I want to show you changing some colors. So I'm not going to use that one. Um, I thought I like that one too. I like yellow. Yellow always, yellow always pops on melanin skin. All right, so I'm going to use that one and I'm going to show you that you can change the colors of mom. So I'm going to click on the background. I'm going to go over. Now, you can either use color codes if you want specific colors and you've done your color charts, or you can sample colors from your background. So I'm going to open up the color palette, go to the dropper, and then select a color. I can leave this gray, or I can make it a lighter version of one of the yellows. Same thing with this one. I can, well, I don't ever use any of the grays here. I always, ooh, shoot. Which gray did I use? Cause it comes out weird looking. Dang it. I'm trying to think. I think I sampled it from the background. Um, 
So let's say I want, you can even sample from their clothes. So let's say I want to kind of sample this nice new um, natural tone from his jacket. I can do that. Um, I can even make the middle one that one. And then let's change this maybe to the color that is like right there. Um, I'll probably make this one a little bit lighter. And you can add whatever you want to it. Um, maybe even reverse this. So completely customizable. You can make it any color, any background. And this template, like I said, is exclusive to the template vault um, until after Mother's Day. And then I'll put it on my Etsy and my website. But just wanted to share that with you guys. And like I said, you can make the Polaroid bigger. So if we didn't put the um, definition, I could make that bigger where it's like this behind them. I can make this one come here. I can add another image. So maybe I want to put that one like that, but I want to duplicate this. I'm going to come over here, drag and select the top portion and the Polaroid and send that to the back. Um, ooh, whoa, I want to do that. Pull this up. All right, let's shrink this down some. Let's shrink this down. I'm going to take these and send them to the back because I want this one on top. And I did have a picture of Blackie. Let me find the picture that I had of her and Blackie. There it is. So we're going to copy image and paste. Then I'm going to click on, I'm going to ungroup all of this, click on the image, hit I on my keyboard to get to my properties dropper, or you can click on the properties dropper, click on tab in Blackie. Go up here, go to maintain aspect ratio. Oh, wait, wrong thing. Um, why didn't it do it? Hold on. And Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to pan it. I'm going to flip this because there's no text. So I'm just going to flip it so that we can actually see Blackie's face. And I want to cover up the news part because then that's going to show wrong. Um, and there. So now we have all of her lovely family on there, including the dog. And bam. So you can change it. You can add more if you want to. Um, if you have my, if you have access to the vault or if you have my premium yard sign, there is a film strip. You can use that and bring that in and add um, images that way. That's the one thing I love about my, my templates. Like you can literally mix and match things from all of my different templates um, and just fit them to a certain template. The next one that I am going to work on is a mug version of this because you have to change the dimensions and all of that. But I am going to work on a mug version of this. So if you have the vault, be on the lookout for that. If not tonight, late, late tonight, probably early tomorrow morning, that will be there because I do have a session tonight for creative business. So I'm going to try and do it, but don't know when I will finish it. But that is how you utilize a template and be and you're able to, oh, I'm sorry, even for the mother part, because it's um, a basic a vector image, you can change the colors on this also. So if you want that in there and let's just choose the darker color and I, and, oh, come on, where are you? Why are you there? So let's say I put that right here and make it small, put it right here in the corner. I can change that color to whatever I want it to be. And again, with it, like now on the other, the other one, this, the majority of the design was on this side. This one, I kind of pushed it over a little bit. So when I, if I were to put this down, I would have this side touch the tumbler first and then wrap this on top because this little piece right here won't actually transfer. If you're using honestly speaking paper, because our paper does not bleed through, so you'll never get the impression of the part that's covered. You won't get that bleeding through 
to your Tumblr. That's another benefit of our paper. It's not just about not having a cover sheet or butcher paper on the back. It has technology to where it doesn't bleed through. So when you overlap so that you can have a nice, you know, a nice clean seam, it's not going to bleed through. All right. Can this be done in Canva to remove the background? I don't know. I don't use Canva like that. If they have a remove background feature, then you definitely can. But I personally don't use Canva that way. So I'm not sure. Can you show how to do the fade bar again? What, as far as what, sending it to the back? Um, I think that's when this came up because I'm looking at the timestamp. So it was kind of at the beginning. So with that, it was just like, this is just a piece that's here. I've already cropped it down. So I just, um, like if this was to the front, well, actually I'm gonna take them and bring them to the front. So their line was really harsh. You're going to select here and then right click and send it to the back. And just make sure that you don't select the fade bar <clears throat> so that it, and I, or the word mom, best mom ever, so that it stays to the front and everything else moves to the back. All right. All right. So that's how you do that. Again, it is in the vault. If you would like access to the vault, it is $80, but there are a lot of um, things in there, like my yard signs, there's chip bags, there's more grad stuff, grad fans. So if you're wanting to do graduation stuff or Mother's Day stuff, there's a lot of things in there that you can use and be able to just plug in your designs. They all come with backgrounds. Normally, I don't include backgrounds and stuff like that um, because I like for you guys to think um, outside the box and kind of make it your own. So I normally don't provide backgrounds and things like It's normally just where you're going to go in and you're going to design it. But I'm trying to switch it up a little bit and add other things to it. So this uh, one is one where you can just add your images, print it out and be done with it. Like I said, be on the lookout for the one for a mug. And I think I might distress the background of that marble one and make it to where it's at least a, um, like for a shirt, for in the middle of a shirt. So be on the lookout for that if you have access to the vault. All right, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you. Um, she said, oh, I love your channel. You do an amazing job. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you, Kelly Cares. <laughs> thank you, Ms. Wood. Thank you, Kizzy. Um, I don't think I missed anything else. Um, yes, it's the same one, correct. So if you paid $45 for it, yes, it's the same one. All righty, guys. Once again, our website is shop.hsinc365.com. Although the link that's in the description will take you right to the site. And then you can just hit home and browse and all that kind of good jazz. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook, turn your notifications to see first, turn your notifications on Facebook, on YouTube to, um, on YouTube to all, uh, recommend us to someone, tag someone in it, copy the link, let them know that there is great information over here. Just great resources, great products, great information for learning to design and sell a studio. All right, y'all until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.